I'd like to show you how to make white clay ornaments using ingredients from your cupboard and then cut them up and turn them into Easter shapes like these and this. So I'm going to use bicarbonate of soda, which you often use for baking, corn flour that you might find in your cupboard for making sauces and tap water. So I'm going to put one cup of bicarbonate of soda into my pan and then half a cup of corn flour and three quarters of a cup of tap water. And I'm going to mix those ingredients together. As I'm mixing, I'm going to get an adult to gently heat up the pan and it's going to begin to turn into this lovely white clay. Looks a bit like icing sugar. If I whoop, show you that. So it's nice and thick now and I'm going to very carefully get a grown up to spoon it out of the pan onto like a heat proof dish or a chopping board would do. Lovely. So once your clay has cooled down, you end up with this nice dough that you can work with. And you can either put it in the fridge and it will last a few weeks actually if you don't want to get going straight away or you can start work on making some shapes so i'm just going to take a bit of my clay once i've given it a good knead and i'm going to roll it out with a rolling pin i don't want it to be too thin because it's quite brittle um, and I've got some Easter shape cutters, so I've got an egg, a chick, um, another chick, there's a bunny somewhere, oh there's the bunny, and I'm going to have a go at something nice and simple at first, so I'll try my egg one, you can get these Easter shapes in the bigger supermarkets, so I want it to be probably about, oh. Uh, well, a bit less than half a centimetre thick. And I'm going to use my cutter, push down, and then I can take any clay away that's around it. And you should end up with a nice shape. To be careful not to stretch it when you move it. So there's my egg shape. And I'm going to put that somewhere nice and flat, put it on a plate. So that's quite simple. I'm going to have a go at adding some texture now. So I've got some lace. And I'm going to have a go at rolling the lace on top of the white clay to see what kind of effect that gives. So if I put my lace on there, and I'm going to roll it out so that you get a nice pattern on there. Now, I'll hold it up in a minute so you can see. So take my lace off and I'm going to line up my egg so it's part on the lacy bit and part not. And then I'm going to take off the clay that's around the edge. If I put my spatula under there, I'll hold it up. So you can see that lacy pattern. The other thing that's quite nice, if you want to make a hanging decoration, if you get a thin straw and you make a hole in the top, not too near the top because you don't want it to break, but you just push that down on your decoration and then when it dries, you'll be able to hang it like this one. I can put a ribbon through that and hang it up.
The other thing that's quite fun, if you've got any textures, you can um, roll out your clay over the texture and that's good. So I've got a bowl with some ridges on here and I'm just going to experiment. You can try experimenting on different surfaces. So if I roll out my clay and then put it over my ridges, I'm going to just gently press it with my rolling pin. When I take the clay off, you end up with your pattern on there. And then you can, again, put your shape on top and get a nice pattern. So my bird has now got some nice ridges. I'm gonna put a hole in this one as well so I can hang him. Might be nice to hang these on an Easter tree. So Tilly's going to have a go now. So you need to roll it out with your rolling pin. Does it feel nice? Right, roll it out nice and thin. What shape are you going to make? I'm going to make bunny rabbit. I'm going to make a chick first. Right, try the chick first because that one's a bit easier. Put it, that's it, near the edge. Lovely. Hang on, you're going to have a line there. Try in a space where you haven't got any marks. Go on then, try there. So once you've pushed it down, what we're going to do is take out all the clay from around the edge. Okay, I'm going to put my spatula underneath and we'll see if it looks like a chicken. How's that? Is that it's good? really good. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, what are you going to make next? Bunny rabbit. Okay, so get your rolling pin. So each batch of clay makes quite a few um, white clay ornaments. That's about probably half a batch. And we've done them quite thick. So you should end up with quite a few clay ornaments in your batch. Once you've finished your clay ornaments, um, you've got a few options. You can either put them on a radiator to dry them out. Or if it's sunny, you could put them outside. Um, or if you haven't got a radiator or it's not sunny, you can put them in the oven um, at 100 degrees centigrade for an hour. I did find they change colour slightly in the oven, so I prefer to dry them naturally. And then you end up with nice hard clay. And you can also decorate them. This one I've just cut out some tissue paper in a zigzag broken egg shape and I've just used a bit of watered down PVA glue to decorate my egg and they look quite nice on the white clay but I also think they look really nice just plain. I love making white clay, thank you for watching.